Baruch. By the time Brennecke's trial began on uh, uh, April 24, 1990, it had been delayed twice, and the venue had been changed from Denver to Portland because of Brennecke's health. Also, the foot claims Scott were government-initiated plea bar uh, negotiations in which the prosecution offered, quote, no days, no dollars, unquote, in exchange for Brennecke's admission that he lied about the October surprise deal, an admission Brennecke says he refused to make. A sidebar comment again, um, further evidence after December 1990 verifies precisely what uh, Brennecke uh, said he did and didn't do. Whether the government first sought a plea, and if so, on what terms, is impossible to confirm, given O'Rourke's refusal to comment. Federal District Judge Malcolm Marsh did, however, refer during the trial to unsuccessful plea negotiations in late March 1990. The first day of trial was taken up with O'Rourke's rapid presentation of the government's case. In framing the indictment, O'Rourke had charged that Brennecke was lying, first because, quote, he and Heinrich Rupp were not employed by and were not contractors for the Central Intelligence Agency, unquote, and second because on or about October 19th or 20th, 1980, George Bush, William Casey, and Donald Gregg were in fact not present. That's at least what he's saying. Uh, not present uh, in the um, uh, Paris, France, unquote. Now, this is the most extensive documented summary of the um, Brennecke trial materials uh, in print in the United States. It's an article written by Cameron Barr out of the American Lawyer, December 1990, uh, an article um, called Stranger Than Fiction. It's subtitle, a long one. Richard Brennecke claims George Bush, William Casey, and Donald Gregg made a secret hostage deal with Iran before the 1980 election. The surprising thing is that the government has not been able to prove Brennecke is lying. Continuing to excerpt then from this article, it is understandably difficult to produce records showing someone has never worked for a particular employer, especially, especially when that employer is the CIA. So Arouk relied on the word of Eldon Hatch, a, a CIA so-called information review officer, who said that Brennecke and Rupp hadn't done any work for the agency. Jury foreman Mark Kristoff was not impressed with this testimony. A 31-year-old inventory control auditor for a sportswear manufacturer, Kristoff says of Hatch, quote, he's a records man. I'm a records man. He went through computer data, but I don't believe for a second that he could get into 100% of the data because I can't get into 100% of everything, unquote. The second part of the government's case, that Bush and Greg and Casey were in places other than Paris on the days in question, which seemed to lend itself more readily to documentary evidence. O'Rourke didn't take that approach. Instead, he called two U.S. Secret Service agents detailed to Bush during the 1980 campaign to say that he had not left the...